When you make the cover of Wine Spectator, some would consider that a crowning achievement of a career. But for Randall Graham, that was nearly 30 years ago, and he's just getting started. So 1983, you pursued the starting of a dream, and here we are, henceforth, over three decades later, and now you're on to another dream. Talk to me about this dream in the San Batista Mountains. It's kind of freaky, and it's a little new agey, and you know, you know, but I did dream about this place before I saw it, and then when I saw it, um, it was a, a confirmation that this was absolutely, no, I may be a total, Delusion uh, may turn out dreadful wine. I don't. I don't think so. Though. Well, from the looks of it, I, I think that would be hard to do because the space is very, very special. It is. It is. And in fact, we have one small barrel of wine we made this last year from the, and it's it's perfect. What can I say? It's perfect. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that. So, if you were to forecast into the future what you want this vision to manifest as, you know, four years, five years, twenty years, walk me through that vision that you see it coming into fold. The idea is thinking about what are the things that one can do to produce a wine that is absolutely distinctive and unusual and different and unlike anything else and also has a, uh, a certain qualities of balance, complexity, uh, particularity. How do you do that? It's not a, entirely obvious. There's not a how-to manual. Correct. Correct. So this place gives you that canvas, if you will, to kind of create those wines so unique to this terroir, if you will, that when a person has it, it's going to know this is exactly where it's from. Yeah. So in other words, I'm thinking that what we need to do <clears throat> is adopt very different methodologies to achieve that. Um, some of them are new and radical, and some of them are very old-fashioned. For example, old-fashioned dry farming, not mm -hmm. irrigating. It's right. a really simple idea. It's economically ruinous, but it's it's uh, it works in producing very intense um, uh, wines that are more expressive of the place sure. itself. And so that is kind of more the old world technique. But you also mentioned there is some new wave there's some, ideas. There's some Give new ideas. Uh, some one those. being um, we're using an interesting material called biochar, which okay. essentially is activated charcoal and compost and with some really interesting agronomic properties, including um, the greater enhancement of water holding capacity mm -hmm. in the soils and uh, enhancement of the symbiotic microbial uh, growth in the roots of the plants, the mycorrhizae. So these are terroir amplifiers. The other, the, the sort of the most radical and possibly insane part of the project is the um, breeding of 10,000 new grape varieties. There's something very satisfying about doing a very long-term project. There's something great about leaving something behind when you go that may be a benefit to the, to the world uh, you know, upon one's exit. Everything I've done so far has been wonderful, but on some level, trivial. To do, I, you know, I feel about unique grape varieties the way I feel about the discovery of a new species or mm -hmm. a new planet. It's, it's a real um, service to bring new things into the world, especially new beautiful things into the world. Well, and I think it's incredible that everything you've done thus far has led you to this spot to be able to make this decision to then leap off. Uh, right, I mean, it's, you know, on the other hand, it would be great to have started this process 20 years ago, or even better, 30 years ago, but I certainly didn't have the maturity right. or the insight to even think about things And like the wine this. wisdom and the knowledge and everything that you've gained over the years. Well, I think based upon the past successes, this future endeavor has uh, nothing but br uh, bright, smooth, paved roads ahead, and we're, we're looking forward to seeing it. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for the opportunity. My pleasure. Cheers. Like the masters before him, Da Vinci, Mozart, Randall has to pursue this ultimate dream. Grab some of this wine and let's celebrate this together. Thank you so much for your support. Mm -hmm.